What's up mages, Micah here. And in this video, we're gonna be going over a brand new deck, a deck that I actually premiered a few days ago on one of the live streams here on the YouTube channel, but it's a brand new deck. It's absolutely awesome. And it's what I rode all the way through platinum to diamond. I finally broke diamond in this season and it was due to this deck. So I figured that I must get in now and share this deck with you so we can take a look. I'm calling this deck dream of heaven and for good reason. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the deck. All right, guys, so here is the deck. It's a 60 card standard best of one deck, and it's focused around Loris of the Dream Den, gets the name the Dream of Heaven, right? And Speaker of the Heavens. So this is an absolutely amazing deck. We've got Loris as our companion. Each permanent in our starting deck has to have a mana value of two or less, but during each of our turns, we can cast one permanent spell with mana value two or less from the graveyard meaning we no longer have to cast just from our hand. We can cast from our graveyard as well, expanding the possibilities for cards that are not exiled. So he's an awesome champion to have. And like I said, paired with him is Speaker of the Heavens, where once we get to 27 life and beyond, we can tap Speaker of the Heavens every single turn to create a 4-4 White Angel creature token with flying. So this is absolutely awesome. It's only at sorcery speed, but a very good card. It's got Vigilance and Lifelink as well. It's a 1 for a 1-1. One, one. Now, we've also got Owl Seed of Life's Bounty because the biggest thing with this deck is we've got to make sure sure we can protect Loris of the Dream Den. We don't want to bring Loris out unless we've got one to two Alcide Bounty out on the battlefield to protect Loris from being exiled or being sent to the graveyard. So we want to have those Alcide Life Bounty out there. Same thing for protecting our Speaker of Heavens. I'm not so worried about the Speaker of Heavens as I am about the capability of continuing to be able to attack and not worry about our creatures going to the graveyard one at a time and then being able to bring those back, right? Um, we've also got Shadow Spear in here. So again, everything's going to be focusing on lifelink really in this deck because of Speaker of the Heavens. We want to be able to create those angels as our main win condition. Um, and then Alcide's Bounty is going to be protecting Speaker of the Heavens and Loris. Um, Loris always before Speaker of the Heavens, but also Speaker of the Heavens because our main win condition is to get those four four angels out. Um, but if we lose the ability to cast from our graveyard, then you know we can't bring Speaker of the Heavens back. So we need to protect Loris because we can always bring Speaker of the Heavens back to be able to create those angels, right? So Alcy's Life Bounty is also a 1-1 with lifelink and it only costs one to be able to uh, protect target creature or enchantment we control from the, the color of our choice until the end of turn. So we got Shadow Spear in here for one uh, plus two equipment cost. Equip creature gets one one, has trample and lifelink. And then for one, we can also permanence our opponents, control, lose hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn. This can really help with those Toski cards and being able to remove them, like removing because they have to attack. The Toski bears have to attack every single turn. So remove indestructible and then block and kill them. Uh, Disenchants, destroy target artifacts or enchantments for one and one white. Impassion Orator, so for every creature that comes into the battlefield, we gain a life. Uh, Kabira Takedown, this is our land. So in our lands right here, guys, we've actually got seven planes, seven swamps, um, four scurred scored four scoured barons uh, so they enter the battlefield we gain a life but the tap for one white or one black we've also got uh, kabira takedown in here that it can deal damage for one and one white equal to the number of creatures we have to a target creature or planeswalker but it's also a land same thing with sajiri shelter is that the backside is also a land target creature we control gains protection from the color of our choice so we have the option with these cards of how we want to play it do we want to play it at instant speed or do we want to play it as a tapped land do we want to play this at instant speed or as a tap land same thing with skyclave cleric we can play it as a creature for one and one white when it enters the battlefield we gain two life it's a one three but we could also play it as a land if we don't have enough lands or mana out or let's say we go ahead and play it as a creature card now we can always bring it back later with Loris of the dream den and use it as a land most of the time i'm using these as lands but i like to have the options with the dual cards uh thunderous orator one and one white it's a two two with vigilance and what's great about him is that whenever he attacks he gains flying until the end of turn 
if we control a flyer, a creature with flying, same thing for first strike, double strike, indestructible lifelink, and so on. So when we have a, we have Killian Ink Duelist in here, which is lifelink and menace. So if we have him out on the battlefield, plus any of our lifelink creatures, well, then now our Thunderous Orator has Vigilance, lifelink, um, Vigilance, lifelink, menace, and then we also have flyers, so flying as well. Daxos, blessed by the sun, two white, it's uh, two plus toughness is equal to our devotion to white. And anytime a creature comes in the battlefield or dies, we get to gain a life from him as well, just getting us closer to that 27 life to be able to tap Speaker of the Heavens to bring out our flyers. Um, we've got Fracture in here, one white, one black to destroy target artifact enchantment or planeswalker again we spoke about killing an ink duelist also spells that we cast that target a creature cost us two less so with two colorless less being that being the fact disenchants are only going to cost us one white if we've got killian out um, same thing with our invoke the divines that we have in here they're only going to cost us one white and we can destroy target artifact or enchantment and gain four life and then we've got some murders in here that will only cost us two black to destroy target creature We've got Hagra Mauling in here as a black land on the other side of it as well. If we've got enough mana, it's two colorless plus two black and the spell costs one last to cast. If an opponent controls no basic lands, that's typically never destroy target creature. So it works just the same way as murder, except for it ends up being cheaper for us. It only ends up being two black instead of two and one colorless. Well, actually, it ends up being the same because if we have ink duelist out, uh, then both of these end up just being two black mana to cast. We've also got Doom Scar for late game. So let's say we've got a bunch of giants and things that we're having troubles destroying at that point. Uh, well, then what we can do is use Shadow Spear to remove any indestructible counters from their creatures and then pull out a Doom Scar and destroy all creatures, which is awesome. And so that ends up being able to save us late in the game. And the reason why I've got a lot, and you'll probably see there's a lot of removal in this deck, right, is that. Uh, there was a lot in platinum that I noticed was a lot of enchantments and artifacts and things like that. And so I was like, you know what? I kept going up against it and I kept tinkering with this deck. Um, and, you know, finally we came to this piece here. If you want to pick up this deck, I've got it down in the description below. I have the link as well over to the Etherhub. If you want to pick it up from Etherhub, you can also copy it out of the description. If you've got any questions or anything like that, just drop them down in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, pick up the deck and let's dive into the gameplay.
Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this deck. I mean, Dream of Heaven, right? I call it AKA Dream of Heaven, AKA the Diamond Maker. This deck is absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. If you got recommendations or some modifications, maybe for the deck and where it sits right now, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We come out with new MTG content every single day except for Sundays and I would love to have you be a part of this journey it's been a wild month and a half two months now uh, that we've been making content on here and so I'm excited to continue to build this community even more thank you all for being here for all of you that have subscribed and I will see you in the next video